Hey, it's Mark Loftus. We're at NAB 2012. This is day three from the NAB show floor. Uh, today with Post TV, I have Javier Moreno from SGO, uh, based in Spain, here in the U.S. for NAB. And we're going to talk a little bit about Mystica, which is a system that's been around for a couple of years now that does so many different processes for post-production. I know it as doing color correction, online editing, there are 3D tools. I mean, it really does a lot of features. Can we talk about where we're at right now with Mystica? I think you had said version 6.5 is the newest release. Sure, sure. Um, the system has been around for like 20 years now, but uh, it was only well known during the last three years or four years because the stereo tools. Uh -huh. But the stereo tools is just one area, a new area that we are. Just one the, area. The system has been always an all-in-one solution. Mm -hmm. So um, this concept that we integrate the color grading, the editing, compositing, uh, stereo adjustments, uh, film restoration, DCP, all mm -hmm. kind of areas that you need in post-production. And it's being used in some pretty high-profile films that people may not be aware of. I know you had mentioned uh, The Hobbit, Great Gatsby mm -hmm. coming. I mean, some of these real big titles that we're expecting. Yes, we are really focused on the high end. We are not doing we are not going to make a cheap version or cheap product. Our interest is in this kind of productions. And now we are working in with the people of the um, Peter Jackson with Park Road and Weta for The Hobbit. Yeah. Also, we are involved in the uh, in this amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Uh, in The Great Gatsby. It also, Asterix is ongoing in Europe, mm -hmm. Paris. And, and here so in the States, I know that you have sales uh, to Sony Pictures, I think you had said identity yeah. uh, effects, so... Yes, so some film makers and uh, a couple of more clients. We are, we have a, a new distributor here now, it's uh, Armadillo in, in LA, so Armadillo. now we are, mm -hmm. we have a good uh, presence, presence here in the United the States. with engineers and, and so we, we are focused now in the LA market. So. Mm -hmm. Some of the uh, features that I guess you guys are really proud of is the uh, support for many different formats. I know you have the RED support, you have the RE support, uh, all resolutions. I know this show, there's a lot of talk about 4K. You're already ready to do 4K. And that the uh, high frame rate playback in real time. I mean, a lot of really yeah. high-end features. There. Yes, for us, uh, the HFR is the next big thing in the theaters. Um, the Hobbit is made in, in that format. And one of the new things is we have improved the speed of the system to work in real time with uh, this format. It's huge format because you have to work with two streams, 5K in a stereo, mm -hmm. and also at double frame rate at 48 frames per second. So it's a huge uh, speed needs. Yeah. But, uh, I think the system is working in real time, so we are very happy with this. Yeah, and, and it's a Linux-based system. The yeah. hardware, I guess, is scalable. Yeah, and uh, you're also at the show announcing a free software version that's designed for training centers, not yep. uh, not as a commercial tool, but something that training centers can use so people can get more up to speed on the tools that yeah. are available. Yeah, this is not a product that you can buy. It. It's just um, just the software uh, for a Windows system, so the to to simplify things for training centers, and also it's the same version that. But it's not a um, very limited version. Is to give you an example. It's the same version that we give to photography directors to go on set uh, to have an easy reference on in a laptop about mm -hmm. color grading or chroma keys or these things. So it's it's a powerful tool, but it's not for production. It's just for having people uh, learning because our system is very different from what other people are accustomed to to use. So mm -hmm. we I think it's a good thing. For us. What are some of the features from uh, version 6.5 that really are the powerful features f from the prior release, the newest features now that are being shown at NAB? Hmm. Okay, one of the things is the speed, the, the possibility to work in real time in, in HFR with 4K. The second thing is uh, the workflows have changed a lot. Uh, one of the um, things that we use Mystica in many companies is just to put a system in the middle of the workflow to ingest all footage coming from the camera and deliver what is needed for the Abit systems, the MSFs, the Nuke systems with HDRX or stereo. 
and and also the final the DCPs to test because the DCPs in post production you, now you need to do a lot of DCPs uh, and mm -hmm. you cannot be copying all these uh, files to another system to make the DCP. So it's the workflow. The, workflow. the improvements in, in the workflow in general is I think is the main point in the in, in this version. Also the color grading system has been improved a lot on many other areas. But I yeah. think uh, we've talked a bunch about the films that are being done, but this isn't strictly a film system. You can do commercial work with it, television, I mean yeah, yeah, it's, it it's in the past it was um, always an all in one solution. So we have been, uh, for example, the Sky Television. All the 3D channel is made in Mystica. All the, there is no single shot that does not go through through Mystica. So we are in televisions. We are also in commercials. I think the needs are similar. The only thing is for 4K you need more hardware, mm -hmm. and for HD you need mm, less. Uh, it's, cheaper because you need less disk and these things. Yeah. Well, they're telling us we have to wrap up, but Javier, I want to thank you for coming by the Post booth today, giving our uh, audience an update on where Mystic is at. Okay, thank you. Thank you to you. Stay tuned, folks. We've got uh, Evan from At Radical Media coming up next, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Thanks.